Good day. It's Thursday, October the 14th. I'm Martin Gagel with Market Radius Research. I'm happy to say we've got Ashish Malik, uh, CEO of B Vectoring Technologies, uh, joining us today. They've made a, an announcement today uh, announcing that they have signed their first commercial industry partnership. And we're going to dig into it to better understand what it all means and what some of the details are surrounding the, the deal with uh, Ashish today. So uh, we're just gonna start it off with Ashish giving us a bit of a high level overview on, on the deal and what it means, and then we'll ask some questions. So Ashish, thanks for joining us. And uh, yeah, tell us about the deal. Thanks, Martin, great to be with you. Uh, yeah, we're really excited about this deal. I mean, we've, we've built this business to a point where we're you know, rapidly commercializing in the US and, and that's going extremely well. And we've talked about that before. What's significant about this announcement is it's really a couple, uh, several firsts for us, for us as it relates to our expansion, right? So this is the first industry partnership that we're announcing from a commercial perspective, which shows that we are gaining momentum within the industry. It's also our, our path to first revenue in Europe, right? So we've talked about global expansion being a key pillar of our strategy. So this is a, you know, a very significant move in that direction. And the third is really portfolio expansion. So we've got our own biological fungicide that we're vectoring and delivering using the bees, but this is our first step in a different direction, which is to deliver a different biological control agent and specifically a biological insecticide so that it proves that we can control more than just certain diseases. We can now also offer a bigger uh, solution for growers. And just to summarize, you've licensed this Bavaria, uh, I won't Bastiana. say the whole thing. Um, I, my Latin, I guess, is not so good. <laughs> and, and you're licensing that and then buying it off of uh, the company CBC Europe. And you're going to use your <clears throat> B system, the B vector and technology system, to deliver it to as an insecticide, which is to kill bugs on uh, various uh, fruit growing plants, correct? Correct. Correct. So, so Bavaria bassiana is a species of a, a, what's called an entomopathogenic fungus. And that's a, that's a, that's a crazy way to say that it, it, it kills certain insects and it's a fungus that, that destroys them. Uh, the active ingredient is already registered in Europe, right? And so with this relationship, we, we have access to CBC's um, registration. And then what we have to do is take that registration and take that active ingredient, develop an end use product. So it's a new formulation because today what CBC is selling is a foliar spray. So we have to develop it into the powder that can work with the B systems that we have and, and then get that end use product registered and then, and then launched. Uh, and, and so the idea is that we would be not only accessing the registration, but we also have a supply agreement with CVC where they would sell us the active ingredient. We would formulate it, package it into our trays that would then work with the B vectoring platforms that we have. Okay, so um, it, you, you're not just rolling it out this spring or whatever. You've got a little bit of work to do ahead of you. You need to formulate it and then get that final product and system uh, approved by Switzerland and the European Union. Yeah, it is in Europe you have, in the EU, you actually have a two-step process. First is the active substance registration. And these days that can take upwards of three years because there's a big backlog and a shortage of reviewers. Uh, so we bypass that first step, which is very, very significant. The second step is much quicker um, it's usually you go in with some efficacy trials, you go in with some formulation information, and you go for end use product. And that's usually a 12 to 18 month process. So once you have that data, you would go to the countries of interest and get that second stage, the, they call it the end product registration. So that's the part that we would do. But we shorten our time from maybe five years total to maybe two years total. That's the significance. Okay, and then so with that, you're not going to go to revenues right away, but maybe even for the uh, 20, um, 2023 growing season, you may be able to, to start rolling out the product and uh, generating sales in that year. Yeah, it's possible 23, 24, we're going to sit down now with our 
uh, with our consultants and figure out exactly the, the milestones that, that you know, we have to hit in terms yeah. of submitting for registration. But it also gives us time to develop our, our channels, right? So we don't have channels in Europe the way we do in the US. So this would give us a little bit of time to build the sales and marketing infrastructure that we need, any distribution partners that we might require. Uh, we already have very good relationships with the B companies in Europe. So we have to formalize those, take what we're doing in North America and, and replicate them over in Europe. So we need to kind of work on those to kind of launch the business while in parallel, we complete the registration for the end use product. And then once this is up and running and then you get the CR7 uh, registered, then you've already got a distribution channel and the next stage of pushing CR7 should presumably be easier because BVT is already an established and hey, we've got this one and now we've got this other um, uh, uh, biologic to, to, to help the farmers out with. Yeah, that's the idea. That's exactly the idea. The, the interesting thing is in the U.S., where we've already launched with our CR7, as we in-license other products for the U.S., yes, you're taking advantage of the fact that we already built all that with CR7. In Europe, we're going to start in the reverse order. We're going to yeah. do the Bavaria first, build it out, build the business, build the brand, build the distribution channels, and then when we get the CR7 uh, registered, we could take advantage of that. Yeah. Already being built out. On the CR7, you're currently in the registration process in Switzerland, I believe. Correct. Right? Yes, we are in the registration process in Switzerland. We haven't formally kicked off Europe, although we have done all the studies. We are in touch with the rapporteur member state that's going to steward our European registration. You have to pick one of the countries in the EU. That, you, that will take the lead in reviewing your dossier. We've already picked them and uh, we'll, be, you know, we'll be making some announcements around timing uh, on that process, probably in 2022. All right. Yeah. And with the, the bee system, it's relatively easy. These aren't um, honeybees, these are bumblebees. So to deliver it, you actually sort of freeze or refrigerate the bees and then they've got the the delivery system in it, and you just literally mail. Here. Yeah. The plan is you mail the system to the farmer, and then yeah. they open it up and and then let the bees loose, and they do their job. So you, it's not like you've got all those honeybees coming into uh, California, and you need that to leverage that kind of a distribution uh, that you'd need in for Europe. Yeah. So in, in, for this particular product, we'll be looking mostly at bumblebees. And a commercial bumblebee hives come in a, in, a, in a box, you know, maybe this big, a couple of, you know, whatever, two feet by, uh, by a foot kind of in size. And they're actually, uh, you're correct that they're, they're mailed in a, in, a, in a sense, they're actually trucked to their destination from the bumblebee factory. And we, will, we have relationships with the, with the bumblebee producers. And uh, when, they're, when these hives are shipped to their destination, they're already equipped with our dispensing technology inside, right? So our uh, arrangement with the bumblebee companies is for them to make hives to our spec, which includes our dispensing technology built in. So when it reaches the farmer's uh, field, uh, we are also supplying our, the Bavaria in prepackaged trays to that same location, you insert the tray as, a, as kind of the way you would put a blade on a, on a razor and, and the system is off and running. Okay, so that's the way the supply chain would work. So you basically go online, you, like, you order it, they send you the box, you, you do it, spend a few minutes setting it up and then you're off to the races. And it's extremely easy. The farmers could do it themselves. You know, we would probably have instructional videos at the very beginning in the launch year we might actually be more hands-on training them how to do it, but over time they would take over and be able to do this themselves. All right, and then this also, and I believe in the news release you discussed that you're looking for other in-licensing uh, deals where through your now growing US distribution network, you could find some other biologics to different trays essentially to put into your honeybees yeah. or your bumblebees. Yeah. Uh, to, to put different biologics out there in the environment. 
Yeah, absolutely. And we're looking at that, that very actively. We've been working on in licensing for a couple of years. <clears throat> We've been field studying several different products. This particular strain was one of the ones that we had been doing work with. Um, and, the, and the great thing is that it could be work, it could be used alongside our CR7. It could be used as a standalone or it could be used together with. So there is a scenario where you could actually put both active ingredients into the same dispensers. And uh, uh, so the bees would actually deliver the same bees would deliver two products. Uh, there's many ways that you could, you know, have a more complete system with a fungicide and insecticide. So now our homework is to actually do those kinds of um, efficacy trials and really the development work to find out what is the ideal use pattern. Do you have one set of hives that deliver two products, or do you have half the hives that deliver product A and the other half that deliver product B? Those are all kinds of things that we now have to do because we're, we're at the stage where now we have two products, which is really exciting. Yeah, and you've got the concept shown and proven in the US and yeah. now it's layering yeah. on different um, uh, biologics on top of that. All right. Yes. Oh, that's exciting. Um, is there anything we missed here that you want to uh, highlight? Yeah, I mean, I think the only thing that I'd like to add is this particular strain that, that, we've, um, uh, that we've licensed and we've worked with. Uh, this Bavaria strain has a, has a great track record in Europe. You know, we know and the market knows that it is a very good biological control agent for thrips and white flies and aphids and other insects. So we don't have to educate the marketplace about that particular strain, right? We've got that box checked because of CBC's great work the last 10 years. What we can simply talk about now is an alternate way to deliver it, right? And, and that's the, the efficiency and the efficacy of delivering the, the same active ingredient in a very controlled and targeted way to just the flowers as opposed to spraying it you know, more, more widely. So, you know, the fact that it's an accepted um, um, biological control agent is a huge plus for us. Yeah. Yeah. All right. Well, Ashish, thanks for uh, giving us uh, the details and the, sort of some nuance uh, into what that your first in licensing deal uh, means to the company and that you're proving the model here that for you spent the years uh, building things out. So thank you very much. Great. Thank you, Martin. All right. Have a great day. Bye.